Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope that you are having a wonderful week so far. Um, today, we are going to do a pick a card reading and we are going to get into where it is that you are headed right now. So I have a yellow candle here. I'm going to go ahead and light it. Um, I chose... I chose yellow because it's about the will, confidence, forward movement, you know, taking action and being steadfast in what it is and where it is that you're going. So we're going to let this burn as we read the cards. For those who do not follow me on Instagram, I chose some stones and here are the stones. The first one is Rhodonite. So just take a minute to see which ones are calling to you. This one is Black Onyx. And this is a fossil stone. So this week the, the sun is moving into Sagittarius so things are about to begin speeding up and picking up pace on to the things that we've kind of been in the underworld and the underbelly of things, recognizing our shadows and like where basically the fire is coming to eliminate them completely out of our lives so that we can move forward lighter in a more freer sense, you know, not tied down or burdened with things that just don't no no longer belong to us because that's a lot of what Scorpio is. It's us holding on to beliefs, fears, indoctrinations that come from either family or that we just picked up along the way, but also letting go of any bonds or ties that kind of need either a change, we may not necessarily be fully letting them go, or we may be reconciling some difficult relationships that we've recently been through as we've probably been realizing a lot of things about ourselves, you know, and kind of bringing light to the projections and how it is that we have, you know, been sabotaging ourselves, you know, also uh, really recognizing ways to clear any debts, whatever debts this may be, whether it's finances, whether it is cyclical debts, you know, relationship debts, all of those things. So we can start over and begin again, you know, begin new, begin fresh, begin lighter. You know, we are, the phoenix is about to rise from the ashes. So if you chose stone one, which is the road of night, we are going to go ahead and get started on the reading and i'm going to pause the video for a minute to get set up a little bit here i'll be right back okay so if you chose the first stone the first stone was the road of night and this stone is basically really good for transmuting anger it helps move beyond festering resentment it transmutes painful emotions, it assists in forgiveness, it is beneficial in emotional self-destruction, how we may tend to hold on to things and that just really need to be released and let go of. It also encourages a sense of community brotherhood. It nurtures love, it's an emotional balancer. It helps bring us back to wholeness as well by balancing our yin and yang energies. It also helps release codependence and promotes unselfish love. You know, it, it, it heals any types of betrayal or abandonment we may have felt in past relationships. It assists in also taking back any projections that we've put on anyone else. And at the same time, this is also like a return to sender kind of song like if anyone is sending you any type of insults or anything like that that they are about to they will be receiving that back basically you know and it it prevents people from being able to uh show up in any form of retaliation in a sense 
So it also promotes calmness in any type of upsetting situation. And it also helps you build your confidence, which is a lot of what's needed right now as we are moving forward and helps alleviate confusion. So let's go ahead and get started with these where are you headed readings. what needs to be said and with that rhodonite energy this power it feels like there needs to be a lot of letting go i was feeling that earlier like something it something that needs to be let go of on an emotional level though not necessarily something physical it's a very internal kind of energy that's happening. Okay, so let's see. So the first card is where you currently are. And you got the Magician card. So perhaps you're in this space of recognizing your ability to alchemize or utilize what it is that you have right now in order to make it something more. You know, and perhaps also seeing how to make this stay, you know, how to make it consistent. It, it's something new for you as well, you know, starting almost as if you're starting over. So utilizing your scraps and turning them into gold in a sense, but also working the elements of what it is that you have. Perhaps you want to do some type of candle work uh some type of affirmation work right because this is a, a mercurial energy so it's of the mind so maybe working on changing your mind thinking better thoughts believing that it's possible where you're headed that that is that what you're doing right now what you have will get you there it, you also have everything you need right now so it's a lot of need for trust with the magician it, it, it's necessary to have faith, right? Because the main component in, in magic is the faith aspect of it. It's the belief that it will be, you know, you're doing it and you know that spirit will take care of the rest as long as you do your part, right? So what's influencing this is the Hierophant. So it's... It feels like you are ready to kind of walk away from a some type of, I don't want to say entity, but some type of structure, some type of form of traditional way of doing things that are just no longer bringing you any type of satisfaction in a sense wanting to do things in a bit more radical way especially with the magician card right but also willing to take your time in doing that you may also be being inspired by a wanting to do things on your own making things happen on your own because that's the hierophant it's about utilizing the wisdom that you've gained and and really you can be offering this to others but you may be also being you may be also being influenced by something that you're learning from somebody else. There may be someone who is teaching you that you can do this on your own, that you can make this happen on your own, you know, that you can almost utilize what it is that you have in order to be able to really make something happen. You may also be desiring you know, wanting something stable that is going to offer you more freedom in your life, in a sense. So the overall goal in all of this is the King of Cups. So again, to be emotionally stable, you know, emotionally grounded within yourself and really just being able to operate from this 
mature space of being, but this can also be a a creative energy, you know, wanting to be able to access your own way of doing things, your own creativity, your own type of what's the word taking your ideas and making them real you know making them tangible although the king of cups is an emotional type of energy and relationship type of energy this can also speak about bringing your ideas to life right because this is coming under the magician but you may also be desiring to it feels like maybe you were desiring to have a relationship wanting to build something with someone this king of cups he doesn't necessarily have to be but could be a cancer scorpio pisces energy or have those energies prominent within you wanting to build a type of tradition wanting to settle down you know and at the same time really making magic happen between you two now if this is just about you for those of you who this is just about this is about taking your ideas and making them real and almost being able to ma manipulate the energies that you have available to you in order to make these things come about but it's going to take some changes on your part about the way it is that you're going about seeing thinking and all of these things right so what needs to shift right your thought is the queen of swords maybe you are too rigid in the way it is that you hold your beliefs it's like you need to free up some space within you a little bit um and and stop seeing so seeing things from such a crass perspective of un a uh, perspective that's not possible in a sense or being so critical about things maybe you are being a little biased like you're you're being too your judgment is stopping you from being able to really manifest what it is that you want from your life because you are really caught up in one way of seeing things right and if this is about a relationship maybe you're too caught in being single <laughs> you know and kind of need to relax on that a little bit because the queen of swords she's like the divorced woman in this sense you know so maybe kind of need to let go of the rigidity when it, and tap into your body tap into your emotions you know and because you got the king of cups here so that may with that being the place that you are arriving to this may be about getting into your emotions so that you can trust and manifest what it is that you are trying to get to stop trying to figure it out and instead let your intuition guide you so the first step is the four of pinnacles so in the event that you are trying to it's almost like that you have to kind of take the first step like not be so stagnant and stuck in a sense on what it is that you are going to have to do in order to attain what it is that you desire but you may also need to be utilizing the resources that you have in order to attain more resources in whatever way that is perhaps you need to uh, open up a little bit more about what it is that you desire in a sense because it almost feels like that you may be closed off to receiving a bit right out of trying to hold on to your chips when you in order to receive abundance you have to be open you know you have to be open to the flow so that it can come in but the four of pinnacles uh it, it talks about you trying to control things a little bit too much so know that you are secure with what it is where it is that you are and where it is that can take you you know almost like you you have what you need you know so begin to trust that and kind of let go a little bit
Okay, so let's see. Your challenge, your obstacle is innocence. You seem to just almost like you're kind of lacking the willpower to take that first step. It's almost if your your confidence in it is it's not there. You don't feel confident in your ability to make happen what you're trying to manifest here. <clears throat> and that's really important, right? Because the confidence it it lends to the faith, it lends to the trust, you know. So you really have to be sure of what it is you're doing when you're doing it right so you have to go into it with the mind of mm. so with this first step in this four of pentacles right so that lack of confidence can also come from this space of trying to see the end game trying to be sure that what you are doing is going to give you that security that you're seeking right but you first have to recognize that you are secure right here in this moment and open up and allow, you know, and that's going to come with you activating your will and just going forward with it, going for it as well, you know, whatever it is that this may be. You have to, you have to really trust that how you're being guided, the emotions, these feelings, these insights, these intuitive downloads that you're receiving to do, you have to trust that that is what you should be doing, you know, and believe in that, in the doing of that. Even though you can't see the final product, you have to recognize that right here, right now, abundance is there, you know, but you, and then once you do that, it's kind of like a, a doing and then letting it go. And also being patient because once you begin something, um, once you move into this new thing, you have to let it build, let it take its time. But as you take one step, another step will come and then another step will come and then you'll be at, a, at this space of, you know, oh, I'm here. You know, you will be at a place that you weren't before. So the advice, you have the six of pentacles. So for me, this is saying that you should ask for help. Ask for help wherever it is that you can. Give to those who can really also support those who can support you as well, right? Because things are, are going to get better. They're going to be better. They are good right now. It's like you have to trust that it, you also need to, in a sense, come into balance in yourself, align, let your heart and your mind align, right? Because with this King of Cups being the goal, but this Queen of Swords needing to shift your heart and your mind of where it is that you're going, what it is that you want to do, what you foresee for yourself, it's not aligned. And you're gonna have to align those things in order to make it happen because it is also, it's possible, it's going to happen. You have the four of pentacles here and the six of pentacles, so that equals the 10 of pentacles. That is uh, home, hearth, legacy, family, children, you know, marriage, that is stability. You just have to trust that that will be, you know, you're at this place of a shift. You got the tower moment at the bottom and that can be unsettling in a sense, you know, because you're not sure where, where things are going. But when you put the effort in, when you trust that you're making the right decisions and when you do what you need to do or think the way that needs to be thought in order to move forward, it will happen. It will happen. The 
full of beans or focaccia just to get a little bit deeper in here. Almost get a full spectrum of things overall energy. Yeah, so you have, you have soul family. Definitely call on those who can help you, someone who can support, people who, who can support you emotionally, mentally, physically, you know, physically meaning like materially, you know, those who can support you spiritually, they can hold space for you, can listen to your worries so that you can just get them out, right? So maybe also, because you don't have to do this alone, you have people around you who are supporting you, it's time to release those contracts. You know, Venus is about to go into Scorpio, so that's about transformation. Venus is a, a planet of work, money, wealth, you know, it's a plenty of, of having as well. It's also a planet of creativity and all of that. So it's time to let go of the soul patterns, especially the ones that tell you you can't believe that that you are not worthy of what it is that you truly desire because you are, you know, you just definitely don't expect be patient, you know, don't expect things to happen overnight because they will happen if you just trust the process, you know. Change is coming, most definitely. Use this sun and Sagittarius energy to really help ignite that that passion, that that fire up under you. Right, because you have the strength card as as an obstacle and that's fire energy, right? So it's almost like your inspiration, you are maybe a little bit afraid to, to align with what it is that you're inspired to do. You know, but the creative power you hold is, is big. <laughs> so definitely, go for it trust it know that you're doing the right thing and make sure that you connect with those who are who can help you you know you got the jaguar this is a 28 that's a 10 that's the world of fortune okay so we're gonna read the jaguar that's a very powerful spirit animal You are so capable, uh, one. Okay. So it says the Jaguar is the protector of all life in the Amazon, and in times of fear, she brings courage and certainty. Jaguar is at the top of the food chain and never becomes prey. With great stealth, she can track her mark from a distance and not be seen or heard. She moves gracefully through these jets through the jungle, relishing the abundance of rainforest, fearless and at ease. Jaguar knows the way beyond death and is the master of the shadows, blending invisibly between light and dark, night and day. So the invitation says the Jaguar calls you to explore beyond the walls that confine you, to go outside your normal routine, to push your limits and boundaries. She's delivering an invitation from your own future to investigate the unknown to venture into the mystery in the dark places you have been reluctant to explore. Toss all caution to the wind. Know that your jaguar instinct will serve you well. So yeah, what I'm also getting is that you guys are highly intuitive. Y'all are high, this how is highly sensitive, you know? So tap into that and let that guide you. Let that pull you to where it is that you are going because it's leading you in the right direction if you will only choose to trust it. So the medicine says, what in your life needs to be released? What have you carried around for far too long? Which is ready to be let go of once and for all. Jaguar medicine is available to hear the, heal the fear so you can allow it to go. It's time to come out of the shadows and in the shadow games that you may have unconsciously agreed to play. Call on Jaguar to unfetter you from toxic relationships and recover your natural instinct for the right people in situations. So whatever it is that you need to let go of, it's time to go ahead and do so. Right? And with this, with this pinnacle energy, I also want to say um, 
take some time to nourish yourself but also connect with your spirit team your ancestors your guides you know even more so your ancestors with this with the four and and the six together that's the ten of pentacles and ten of pentacles is about family so definitely co connect with the ancestors that fared well your honorable ancestors that had great lives here no matter if they even if they passed on earlier than others expected that doesn't mean that they didn't live a good life while they were still here you know because the wheel is turning and things are changing yeah and at the bottom here you have the gatherer and the gatherer talks about using what it is that you already have don't try to grab what's not available what hasn't ripened yet you have to patience use what you have yeah and you got the 12th house and the 12th house speaks about first of all the 12th house is spirituality so really tap into get into some spiritual practices so you can build your trust up meditate when you get up in the morning do some breathing you know really connect with spirit so that you can also build that sense of self-security within yourself and trusting that you're making the right steps right this is also about releasing yourself from the prisons like that jaguar card said in your mind more so like d stop deluding yourself from and holding yourself in these constructs that stop you from being able to really manifest and co-create with the universe right because the 12th house is about universal energy higher consciousness right so take the time that you need to really connect with your core being because that's the 12th house as well who it is that you incarnated here as who are you take some time to figure that out when you get up in the morning if you got a lot of chaotic thoughts going on you need to just write it all out whatever it is don't try and make sense of it just get every single thing out that you're thinking so that you can make room for you to come up and you can hear what's going on you know so okay power one the road and I group I hope that that was helpful for you I hope that this supports you on your path on your journey let me know let's talk about it and I'll see you guys soon bye hi pal to you guys who chose the black onyx stone so black onyx it basically supports you in it gives you strength it helps you get really grounded in yourself similar to the rhodonite group it helps balance that yin and yang energy it also supports you in connecting back to your wholeness right so it helps center you within yourself it also helps facilitate a connection to oneness to consciousness to spirit right and it also helps facilitate mastery over manifesting your personal destiny you know whatever that is wherever you are headed and so it also encourages steadfastness it helps with vigor so if your energy has been low this will be a good stone for you to reinforce like it almost actually well not almost it does it activates the will you know and it helps impart self-confidence and aids in learning lessons especially past life lessons it helps kind of bring those back to the surface in a sense so that you can integrate the lessons that you have learned from previous lives or just when you were younger kind of thing so it also supports you in keeping your own counsel it's a stone of secrets so any event like you don't want to share a lot of things with people this is a great stone for that meditating with that so let's see group two black onyx let's see where are you headed and a little bit of insight and guidance 
to where your head is. So currently, you are, you seem to be feeling very independent, very can do with yourself kind of energy. You may be feeling very content where it is that you are right now, unless you are feeling the latter of this, which some of you guys are not feeling uh, secure in a sense, not feeling the abundance that, or recognizing the abundance that is available to you right now, right here. Perhaps you've been putting in efforts into something and haven't seen the rewards of that, but then there are those who are recognizing that, seeing that, feeling capable and independent in where it is that you're going, what it is that you're doing having like you have enough this feels more like you have enough but at the same time i'm feeling like a a bit of unsurety that you that things might not end up being enough <laughs> let's see so the influence hmm, so maybe you are feeling like you are not having enough and desiring to have more in a sense desiring to receive the return on the efforts that you put in right because you have the ten of wands in the influence space maybe you have been carrying a lot of burdens and ready to kind of let them go and putting in a lot of action to something and it's been it's just been overwhelming in a sense and you're ready to see something from this you know but this is to me saying that it's time to let this go let these burdens down uh, stop holding on to other people's problems if that's something that you do you know and focus on yourself with this night of nine of pinnacles so the knight of pinnacles is where you're headed basically so this is being very consistent in what it is that you're doing where you're going you may be also receiving messages on how to continue moving forward in order to receive what it is that you're trying to gain in this you may be feeling very confident or more so very willing i should say not necessarily confident because i don't it, i'm feeling like a lot of unsurety like in in my in my back in, in my shoulder kind of thing like uh, almost like a fear that something is not going to come to pass so perhaps you you are where you're going is basically you are continuing to do the work, right? And it's like you have to be patient. I, and maybe you need to put one thing down. Maybe you're doing too much as well and need to focus on a particular thing, okay? Maybe you need to see about doing things a different way, right? So that, because perhaps you've been in a rush in trying to make this happen, but you have to be practical about about the steps that you take. You can't like you can't make crossover things. You can't misstep. You know you really have to be patient, step by step, day by day. You know. <laughs> 
<laughs> why the, the step-by-step theme song just came up in my head so that you know just really taking your time and, and being willing to put in the effort to the the fruition that you are building towards you know it's not it's not gonna come right away immediately you know well, burnt my finger I didn't wear the smoke from the Palo Santo anyways <laughs> yeah definitely just you know you you're gonna have to remain steadfast in this and that's the black onyx is supporting you in that wow okay so what needs to shift perhaps you are in the space of competition with others um i think you're comparing where you are to where someone else is and you cannot do that because that is going to keep you in that ten of wands energy of when you do that you kind of take on somebody else's experience like oh i want to be there but you you haven't done what they've done to be where they are. You know, you may not even be willing to do what they've done to get where they are. You know, you have to recognize those things and kind of rec you know, see that you are an individual. This is your own journey. This is you're doing things your way. And that needs to come into place into to support you in being able to move forward. That Because that's really creating a blockage in a sense that you are misstepping right because when you get to the space of trying to have what somebody else has or wanting your life to look like what somebody else's life looks like it has you one in the space of competition and competition doesn't do anything but slow us down and it keeps us in this illusory space of something that's not real because it's not ours you know you will never have what another person has you can only have what you choose to build for yourself what you choose to co-create for yourself you know and really just stay focused on your on your shit you know like on your journey on your path what it is what is it for you to do what are you here to do stop paying attention to what everybody else got going on like this is this ten of wands energy you are influenced by what other people are doing what other people have and you have a hard time or really even seeing what it is that you're even supposed to be doing are you even on the right path right now the first step some healing needs to take place in the mind okay you will have a lot of negative self-talk going on um you're cloudy you might even be confused because of this you know and unsure again because you're in the space of not focusing on what it is that you need to be doing you really need to focus on yourself you need to get some rest you need to rest your mind and trying to figure out how to get where somebody else is you need to practice some self-care you need some stillness some meditation and not necessarily in what you're doing but how you're thinking about things some real stillness needs to take place for you maybe you do need some physical stillness in order to get out of your head right so like i told just told group one like when you wake up in the morning like even throughout your day if you start going down a tangent you need to pull out your journal and write it out or if you have a friend who can hold space for you who don't mind just listening to what you got to say and not and don't need them to respond or co-sign or anything with you like that you need to hit them up so that you can get out your head and stop thinking all of these thoughts that do not serve you. Obstacle, blockage, page of wands. So <laughs> you're a novice, right? At what you're doing, you're beginning, right? It's new for you, but you wanna be a master and you don't wanna take your time doing the work, right? So, you got to do the work do the work so you can get to where you're going except the fact that 
you have to you master by gaining experience right you it just doesn't come your energy is is kind of scattered based off of you trying to do too many things that don't belong to you what is this get out your head about what you think your life should be and figure out what it is that it actually is where it is that you're actually going what is it that you truly want for yourself where are you where are you trekking to you need to take some time to listen to the messages that's coming into you from spirit and you're probably not even receiving them because you are too busy comparing yourself to other people and you're missing out on the blessings of the abundance that you have right here right now so the advice you need to keep moving forward you need to get out of this scat this space of being scattered you got the nine of wands right so you have to keep gaining the experience you need to you need to connect to spirit you need to connect to your spirit you need to connect to god for real so you can get some spiritual support in where it is that you are going it's almost like we have a lot of wands here 10 15 16 17 right so it seems like you're feeling very unhappy about where it is that you are what it is that you have going on for yourself right but you're still you're learning you're at a very beginning stage of everything it is that you're doing and that's okay like you don't receive things the day that you start you know you have to continue moving forward and putting in the effort and you know saturn is in capricorn you have to put the effort in god wants to see that you want this sometimes we have to show that we want a thing in order to attain it you know and we it's okay to take time things don't happen overnight you have to learn to be okay with what it is that you have right now it's on the bottom the queen of pentacles so you're not you are abundant all right you are capable highly you have things that people come with love to have you know but you're not seeing this because you're too kind of caught up maybe you need some routine in your life as well maybe you need some structure some order but you're getting there that's where you're headed but first you're going to have to get out of this space of comparing yourself you're also going to have to get out of this space of thinking that somebody else has it better than you when there's what they work for you know I put the cards in the wrong box. I'm gonna pull some oracle cards for the overall energy. It really feels like you're missing out on your blessings, and you need to see that that that's where you're going. You are about to receive your blessings as soon as you recognize that they are already right there in front of you. What's this? And perhaps you're being a little lazy as well. You need to integrate your active and your passive energy. So perhaps you have these ideas, or maybe you're doing you're doing too much. And not giving yourself enough rest, which is why this four of swords energy came up that for the first step is to get still, give yourself some self care. It's okay to stop, you're not gonna miss where you're headed. You cannot miss what is for you, it will be there waiting for you when you get there. The crumbling. Yeah, so some way of being, some way that you've been doing things, seeing things, it's coming down. What are you clinging to? What are you holding on to? What you you're not 
you don't it wears your faith you need to connect to spirit right mm. maybe something in a sense it kind of seems like something happened that um that made things heavy for you in a sense that made you question that start made you questioning yourself but you need to see yourself through your own eyes and not someone else's and that's the main reason why you need to connect with spirit why you need to connect with your core self you need to see yourself for who it is that you truly are because you're not and it has you all over the place and it has you missing out on what's right in front of you it also has you missing out on what next step it is that you need to take right but your the goal is to get there but you first have to get out of your own way what are you holding on to did someone hurt you or did you see something or maybe you're just holding on to something from the past Right, because it's it's ten pinnacles here. So maybe there's some family traits or something that you are holding on to that keeps you in the state state of doing too much of what you don't need to be doing, that has you in the state of competition, not being able to see your forest for the trees and your unique special abilities of who it is that you are. It kind of has you unsure, unclear, all over the place, not trusting. And then you got the serpent. It's time to shed that old skin, let it go, you know, renew yourself. You need to really take some time to just pause for a minute so you can get your mind state together so that you can see yourself from a higher perspective from a higher light so that you can love yourself a little bit more and stop seeing yourself from the old place of who it is that you once were and if you're concerned about someone else still seeing you from that space don't you know what is this 46 to 10 so that's the will of fortune wow um that energy is, is, is predominant here in, this, in the Wheel of Fortune is a Jupiter card, a Sagittarius energy. The sun is about to go back and go into Sagittarius in a couple of days, in a few days. So maybe that, that and it's a lot of fire energy here. So maybe some, some candle burning, writing these things down, getting them out of your mind and then lighting them, giving them to spirit, letting the fire take them, right? because you are really weighing yourself down with things that just don't belong to you. They don't know that you are capable, know that you are beautiful, know that you have everything it is that you need right now. Trust the bottom, you got the council. So connect with spirit. You need to connect with spirit, right? 11 that's a justice card it's also a two what is to a high, the high priestess yeah you definitely need to go within because justice is also about balance balancing the heart and the mind with one another so that you can flow freely on one accord and not be in this space of confusion wow You know, really need to get centered into yourself. Take time. Take the time that you need. What you what you want is gonna be there. So Mercury. Can you see that? So Mercury is about what you know, it's about what you think. It's also about what you think that you know. And sometimes the things that we think we know don't be the truth. Right, it's also that magician energy. It is Virgo and Gemini. So what choices, what decisions do you have to make? 
You need to get yourself a routine, a, a, a consistent routine, getting up in the morning, taking care of yourself, stretching, movement, nourishing yourself, you know, meditation, journaling, getting out of your head, saying your affirmations, talk nice to yourself, talk love to yourself, you know, look at yourself in the mirror and tell yourself how beautiful you are every day, <laughs> every day. Um, what else is here? See yourself in a new light for real. Let go of that old concept idea that you have of yourself so that you can start taking the steps it is that you need to bring what it is that's coming to life in your world to life. Because if you don't, you will miss it. You will miss it. You will miss it. And we got the seventh house on the bottom. That's about relationships. So is there a relationship that you need to heal? Maybe some healing needs to take place in the area of relationships in your life. More so the relationship with yourself more than anything. Because Gemini is to the lover's card. But that's more so about wholeness. Bringing both aspects of yourself together so that you can go forward in a state of wholeness and really be in, in this space of trust that you're doing the right thing, that you're taking the right steps, you know, and not allowing what another person is doing to affect what it is that you have to do for yourself. Take some time to really beautify yourself as well. Use what you have. Don't feel like you need to go out and do something else, buy something else or anything like that because you may not have it with the way the spread is. It may not be, that may not be accessible to you right now, but you have enough to make that happen. You really need to start taking care, better care of yourself, nourishing yourself, nurturing yourself. You need to see why everything is the way it is, you know, connect the dots in your life so that you can let go what is no longer there that onyx energy learn the lessons from the past so you can integrate them and uh, let that be wisdom in your life and support you moving forward okay okay how to black onyx i hope that that was helpful for you if you need to talk to somebody if you need a reading hit me up i'm here okay um i'm sending you so much love and everything is going to be just fine you know just take the time that you need for yourself okay lots and lots of love so many blessings um, hi group three so you guys chose the fossil stone right so the fossil stone supports us in moving forward. It also, we like this. It supports us in moving forward. Goodness. It also is a very soothing and calming energy as well. And it helps bring contentment and comfort where it is that we already are. So it helps link one it helps link you to the earth energies as well. So maybe you guys need some grounding. Um, and also helps connect you to your past life. Helps you remember things that you may have forgotten. It supports you in integrating what was, what has existed, what has happened for you to attain that wisdom that's needed. It also helps remove any kind of thoughts that you have that have you thinking that things need to go a certain kind of way and allows you to open up space for things to go the way it is that they're gonna go right what's possible and what else so it helps open your mind to change and it helps with if you like have your own business or in business it helps you communicate and be open to new ideas and helps you in attaining um higher positions so maybe that's something maybe you have been looking for a higher position in job and work more pay some type of advancement but more so than anything uh it seems the main energy is that we are needing to 
allow the past to teach us what it is that is being taught and to stop seeing things in the same old ways because it has been supporting us and that's not just you guys that's been the first two groups as well like it's really time to let go of the dead you know it's time to rebirth ourselves into a new more was a recording a new more fluid and flowing energy you know something that's more supportive in carrying us forward into the future so let's see what the cards have for you what spirit has for you count three and two where's group three headed spirit I'm feeling the guidance and insight for you that they need. Please stay truly. Unfiltered and undistorted spirit. Let the truth be revealed. So currently, so you have this Seven of Pentacles here. Um, it seems like you're waiting on something. You're still tending to things, putting in, putting in work to getting to the finish line. But it may be seeming like it's taking longer than what it, where it is that, in the pace it is that you will be desiring to go. But pinnacles are slow. The work is slow. Mastery takes time. It's a step by step thing. You know, you have to let the doors open up to you as you lay the bricks. You know, it's not just a, oh, I did this and it's coming. It doesn't happen like that. Again, this has been for group one and two. You do not receive what it is that you are trying to get as soon as you start. Like, that is like, a, it must be a collective thing going on because you know i've said this before it, we we live in a microwave society but life is not microwavable anything that is it's it's good that is true that is pure that is worth invaluable anything it takes time in, in in our efforts you know it takes our energy to build into it so it's influencing this we have the two of pinnacles of the influence so maybe you are you have too many things going on you probably need to find some balance between your work and your life right so you may need some structure it seems when it comes to moving forward and that may be why you're kind of at this pause that's what's having you move so slow so maybe you need to uh build a better routine than what it is that you have because it has you in a space of feeling like you're not going to get to where it is that you're trying to go. But you will. <laughs> you just kind of need to organize yourself a little bit more. Let me see something. Because where are you going? The three of pentacles. So you need some help. Um, you need to be open to receiving help, collaboration, working with others. Perhaps also you are into working with the community as well. And it may feel like that you are not being able to put out what you want. You may just be being stalled by maybe even like petty things. If it's not, it may be small things that you have to tend to in order to get there, you know, but it's best to do that so that it doesn't build up this large amount of energy to where it blocks you from being able to take a big step that you need to take, you know, so maybe ask for help where you can. It, it seems like you're coming into this place of working with people, but if this is not you working with people, this is you putting in the consistent work, the consistent effort, making things happen, you know, really focusing on commitment to what it is that you're doing. Don't let the slow pace of things discourage you from continuing to move forward. 
yeah, you need to make a decision about where it is you're going and how it is that you're going to go there because you got the two of swords and you also got the two of pentacles here. All right, so many tools. You seem to be blinding yourself about what actually needs to happen in order for you to get to the space of being able to do things consistently. Right? I really feel like you need to ask somebody for help. Perhaps you also need to call a truce in order to gain the help it is that you need with someone. Let's see. Okay, sorry about that. Let's see a little bit. So for the first step, you got the Knight of Cups. So it seems like you need to tap back into your inspirations, but you also may need to walk away from some old emotional space that you've been holding on to that has kind of kept you in a space of indecision. If even it, it seems like that your emotions may be off balance based off of you having to hold many things that's why you need some structure and when you attain that structure that will help open you up a little bit more to your inspiration all right maybe you also need to connect with people who who love you who you love you know and in a sense Right, because you have this three of pentacles here, so this might be about others. You may need to be help reconnecting with people or just connecting with people in general um, will help you in being able to hold all your cards and manifest what it is that you are trying to manifest, what you're trying to make happen for yourself, right? Because you're at this space of this pause of having to be doing this tedious work, this tending to the thing, you know, in trying to manifest, but it's going to simply take consistent effort. And maybe you're also a little bit too focused on the aspect of the manifesting and need to give it some space and some room to be able, like almost like you need to back off a little bit to let God in so that he can help with the other part of things. What's this? So the obstacle is the page of swords. So this page of swords coming up in the obstacle space, this could be, it's, it's almost like that your mind, this is that two of swords energy, you know, what needs to shift. Your mind is not focused on the right area you need to focus on your truth on your path what it is that you're doing so that you can continue or regain the momentum it is that you once had in the event that you lost it with the seven of pentacles it seems that not necessarily you lost it things are just moving slower you know everything has its seasons the ebb and flow in a sense you've almost kind of gotten to this place of being unsure if you're going to continue to move forward but you are you kind of with this having this fossil stone you really need to take some time to get grounded in yourself you know in the event you need to release some old some emotional baggage that you're holding on to that's keeping you from being able to continue forward with your mission, you know, with your ideas and all of those wonderful things. Because you have the three, you have three swords here. So it kind of also feels like that maybe you had some disappointment, some type of heartache. Maybe you're dealing with some type of anxiety. You really need to take some time to recalibrate your energy, really calm and ground and center yourself that routine is really going to help you with that, right? Kind of get out of your mind space. The candle is going out, so it's almost, I want to say, don't let your flame die. 
the advice you have is the king of wands so you really need to tap and tap back into your your inspiration to what you are inspired to do so that you can go and take action on them you know don't wait on it when you are prompted to do something do that you know because that is where you were where spirit is leading you that's where you want to go you know you want to trust that kind of you it's even about a relationship here that's going on perhaps it was with an air sign or maybe it was with a fire sign but that could have that could have brought that pause to the work it is that you have been doing kind of got you down in the dumps a little bit but you really have to regain your momentum you need to really deal with those emotions maybe talk to someone about it maybe talk to the person these emotions have been built from you know the situation that they stem from you know so you can get the clarity that you need right because with the page of swords coming up in the obstacle section you're you don't have the clarity that you that you need you don't need you you're not seeing things clearly right and then you got this two of swords that what needs to shift and with the two of swords they are blindfolded so you're not seeing the full scope of everything that needs to be seen in order for you to be able to take the action the and be in your authority of who it is that you are so it's feeling like this this hurt that has that is showing up here is also asking you to confront your shadows that have to do with how you value yourself how you see yourself as being worthy of of love of what you want you know and all of those things and dealing with that is what's gonna allow you and assist you to regain the momentum in order to get to where it is that you are going but you're not going to be able to move forward in that without first dealing with that shadow energy right because you have what is this 12 pentacles okay so even more so 12 is the hangman so you 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 need to see recognize what it is that you're not seeing clearly like you've got yourself in the sense boxed into this way of thinking that is not necessarily the truth right because and, and that is stopping you from seeing your full power from being in your power you need to see things from a higher perspective Hmm. Maybe there's some type of family trait that this is coming from. And maybe that's why this relationship has triggered this energy. So that you can be the one to move through that energy and release that and let that go. And cut out the confusion in your life. And pull some oil for cards for our overall energy. Let's see what else is here for us. Are you power three? Right, and the page is also with it being in the obstacle space. This is about something that you're learning, right? And this fossil stone is about taking the lessons from the past and okay integrating them so the card that came out is boundaries so you have yourself bound into something into some idea into some way of thought into some feelings maybe it's all overall 
that's the energy that you're dealing with. And it's really time for you to come out of that. Because with this three of pentacles, with the goal energy, with the where you're headed energy, it's you may be meant to work with other people, but the seven of pentacles is by herself, right? And that's why her work is really so hard. Because she's trying to do everything by herself. But it's like your sense of trust has been diminished in a sense. And through that, perhaps you need to one unbind yourself out of these out of that energy, but also recognize how you got into this energy by not establishing better boundaries, right? Because you, it's almost like you've let someone in and change your mind about who it is that you are. Mm -mm. Know who you are. <laughs> All right, get in touch with yourself, reconnect with yourself. Remember who the fuck you are. All right, don't let nobody tell you who you are. Yeah, okay, so you got the curse card. And the curse speaks about, one is a five, so this is about change. Something needs to change, and outside of the idea or the fact that something needs to change, this curse card speaks about holding on to ways of being, thinking, seeing that your past loved ones have kind of given to you right that you've picked up through learning of observation that has just been kind of passed down into your way of being your dna kind of thing you know and it's time to release that so that you can free yourself from this bondage that no longer is serving you right it's really just keeping you locked into this shadow aspect of yourself so you definitely need to recognize the shadow energy that's here because it's you're being invited being called to integrate this energy back into yourself to connect reconnect with your your sense of self your wholeness you know it's also you learning a big lesson that is again like i said something that has that you've kind of shown up in this life to get rid of in your in your family line or something like that you know and really offer you the space to recreate tradition recreate what is how things are going to go in your own means don't let your light don't let your flame burn out see yourself renew yourself you know take be present with the changes it is that need to happen that need to take place for you so that you can go about what it is that you need to go about for yourself because you're building a legacy here all right you have the power see your power just be honest with yourself about whatever it is that you need to be honest about you know so that you can work through it because usually that's where the shadow energy comes from like something that we we don't want to face don't want to admit about ourselves but it's like who cares you know yeah because you got fall card reconcile so reconcile these relationships reconcile your wholeness reconcile and remember who you are okay this shadowy dark gloomy ish card there is some gold yellow light here but you have to be willing to see the light that exists within it you know reconcile that bring that back to surface so that <laughs> you got the the first half of winter card which is to reflect, which the second half 
either way, it's the winter card, winter card and it wants you to reflect as well. See, reflect in a way that lets you to release, that allows you to release the past so that you can come into the new, so that you can make the changes in your life that you need to make, so that you can build the routines that you need to build, so you can get yourself out of the space of confusion, so you can get yourself out of the space of sadness that you have attained through this experience because there are people who you need to connect with. There are people in the community that you are here to serve, you know, and it's time for you to step up so that you can do that. It's time for you to do the healing that needs to happen so that you can do that because it's waiting on you. It's there. It's not going anywhere. You know, you might miss the timing of it at this moment if you don't do what you need to do, but it will always be there waiting for you, you know? So, pal three, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this serves you and brings you some clarity and helps support you in where it is that you're going. If you need someone to talk to, or if you would like to get a reading for yourself, reach out to me, I'm here, or you can book this reading. It's called Where To, my website and you can get this personal rating for yourself. So I hope you all have a great rest of the week, and I will see you all soon. Bye. Lots of love and so many blessings.